Our next destination on the journey to Cop is Genoa, where we visit one of the most important ports in Europe and find out about the transition to green shipping. The shipping industry is integral to the movement of goods and company supply chains, but satisfying the huge customer demand also contributes to a rising share of greenhouse gas emissions. First of all, we have to recognize that shipping is definitely a hard to abate industry in the decarbonization strategy. Shipping represents approximately 4% of the global CO2 emission. Having said that, obviously, it's our duty to work uh, on a decarbonization strategy and uh, we have actually set a very ambitious target in that direction. Before COP26 in Glasgow, industry leaders in shipping, energy, infrastructure and finance jointly issued a call to action for shipping decarbonization. Their goal is that the shipping industry runs entirely on net zero energy sources by 2050. And this raises the important question regarding what this means for the fuels that are being used. Obviously, all those ships are running today with the, with the carbon fossil fuels and that has to, be, has to be changed. At the moment, we have set the two main targets. One in, in, in intermediate target at 2030, when we expect to reduce uh, emission by 40% versus to the 2008 levels, and then a much more ambitious uh, on a 2050, where we hope to, be, to reach the net zero emission at that time. As part of shipping's transition to greener fuels, he explains a large part of the existing global fleet will eventually have to be replaced, and huge technological advances made. The way of, of uh, using uh, new fuels, greener fuels, such as, for example, methanol, green methanol, uh, green hydrogen, or bio and synthetic fuel has to come through a collaboration effort with a lot of uh, different partners. We have, for example, at MSC uh, started a very, very important collaboration with the energy providers to work on hydrogen supply chain that could be adopted on board our ship in the future. Uh, unfortunately today, uh, um, green fuels supply chain is not, almost not existing, or in any case, is not existing at a scale that we, it is required to run our business. And that's the challenge that has to be addressed properly. The insurance industry has a role to play in a decarbonization drive in covering the risk that ship owners will face in the years ahead. We believe that the solution and the way forward for the decarbonization of the shipping sector is based on three pillars. Collaboration, collaboration and collaboration. This is the main things that has to happen in order to ensure that the decarbonization of shipping is happening in the time frame that we have set. Government, operators, energy provider, as to ports, destination, has to work together to ensure that this is becoming a reality. The example of MSC shows the challenge of the transition to greener fuels and how critical it is for them to strengthen partnerships and collaborations which will enable the shipping industry's contribution to a more resilient world.